Hello, darling doodles. It's five on the nut. Oh my God. Is somebody on the nut? I'm totally on the nut. <laughs> What's up, dudes? How are you doing today? Uh, somebody may be feeling fresh and new. Yeah. So guys, last night, I totally had an ascension in vibration. It absolutely happened. And it went something like this. I was sitting in my bed. <laughs> I hang out in my bed. It's true. I love hanging out in my bed. It's my nest. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, what's the difference? Hanging out in my bed or hanging out on the couch? Yeah, I'd rather be in my nest. Yeah. Which is my bed is like a king size bed. <laughs> just I just like spread eagle in it sometimes. <laughs> I share it with my dog. Yeah, he he often gets the tenderloin part of it. My dog is a is a mutt. I'm not sure what he is. For a while we thought he had maybe Basenji in it, and then we thought Shiba in you. Oh, we're not quite sure what he is. Mm, he was. Yep, somebody. Somebody may go from a purebred to a mutt. <laughs> All right, yeah, yeah. Uh, I was out with some friends and went in and to the Humane Society. I'm making coffee right now, but I, I'm getting to the bottom of the barrel on the ground. Um, yeah, somebody might get a best friend right when they need them. Yeah, I was in a really low spot in my life, and. I went in, I said to some friends, you want to go to the Humane Society and look at the dogs? Just look at them, kind of cheer up a little bit. And they're like, heck yeah. So, um, we went down there and right as we were walking in, there was a man who was walking out with uh, one of the dogs. And I'm like, and as soon as I saw the dog, I'm like, oh my God, I love that dog. That little red dog, I love that dog. And in something inside of me was like, oh, I hope he doesn't get that dog, I love that dog. <laughs> All of a sudden, instantly just seeing that dog connected like my cord to him. <laughs> So I went in and we were looking at all the different dogs and this specific humane society has uh, like two two dog rooms. And so we were in like the big dog room and looking at all the dogs, just bark, 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 yeah. And then we go into the other room and there was, I'm watching my dog, he just woke up, he's coming out. There was, uh, there was my dog. Yep, he had come back in, and the man had passed him back over to the worker. And, uh, what's up, dude? You gotta go potty? He's, he got up, and he's standing right by the door. I mean, how can you, how can you deny that, cutie pie? Hello, darling. So, I said to, uh, I'll get you leash just one second. I said to um, the worker who was putting him back into this little cage, and the dude said, oh, he kind of was like, yeah. and I said, hey, before you put that dog back in that cage, can I look at him? And, uh, hold on, I gotta just like detach this. <laughs> and the worker said, of course. And, and so I got Jet. I got the dog at the time. He had a little sign on it. His thing that said his name was Reds McCoy. Reds McCoy. And they thought he was approximately a year old. And I took him and I brought him outside to this little like play area. Yeah, I had a, a tennis ball, and I threw the ball, and he just looked at it, 
And then he came up, and I bent down, I picked him up. Go potty, boo-boo. And he climbed right into my lap, and he pushed himself into me. And I thought, oh my God, this dog is scared. Yeah. And he telepathically told me, I don't like my name, and I need a mama. And right then and there, yeah, I decided that this dog is going home with me. Yeah. And so, on the way home, he got a new name, Jasper. Yeah. And we found out he was a street dog. They found him on the streets of Tennessee. And he was part of this, mm -hmm. I hear band of brothers. <laughs> he was part of mm -hmm, all these dogs. So uh, a lot of times in the South, all these street dogs, dogs that are hard to uh, adopt out. So the thing with Jasper is, they didn't know what his story was. His, there's something wrong with his booty. Yeah. He, has, he has a, a, what do they call it? A chronic fracture. And I think he might have got kicked or hit by a car or something. Um, so, he may get arthritis uh, as he gets older. He may need some like special needs as he gets older. And... If you look at my dog, uh, it's it's pretty interesting. You can see it. Yeah, his front legs are all buff and his back legs are all puny because he puts all his weight on his front legs. Uh, so he was hurt. And he needed a mama. And he didn't like his name. And he was scared of men. And oh my God, I just had to go with a man. Yeah, my dog would cower around men for a good year. Yeah. So he got some serious uh, trauma, something or other. Mm -hmm. So that's where he came from. Little Boo Boo from the Humane Society. Come here, Jasper. Come here. Oh, he's running away now. I was just going to bend down and pick him up. So he's lived with us for years now. He's the best dog ever, dudes. Yeah, if you can, uh, try to get a rescue dog. Yeah. So yeah, uh, in the south, they send um, all these dogs up north to Minnesota. We adopt dogs. Yeah, we're crazy here. Yeah, so they send... Uh, their Humane Society sends out truckloads of dogs up north. Uh, and I happened to see my dog the very first day he was available for... I'm just looking at what a mess I am. <laughs> the very first day he was available for adoption. Mm -hmm. And he was kind of mess, a mess too. Just like me. <laughs> oh, but I've been so lucky, you guys. He is the best dog. Yep. He's never bit anybody. Uh, I only heard him growl recently. And that was at my sister's puppy who kept, mm -hmm, like, getting red off his head. It was like, it was like bouncing off his head while he was sleeping. Mm, he's never bit. He's really great with kids. Um, what else? Oh, he won't shit in his own yard. No. <laughs> He's no, he doesn't poop in the house. He doesn't pee in the house. No, uh, we take him for walks during the day and he'll poop. Yeah, as far away from where he lives <laughs> as possible. <laughs> yeah, that's a street. That's a street dog thing. Yeah, still to this day. Yeah, if he gets a really great treat, he doesn't do it so much anymore. He did it all the time before. If you give him a really great treat, he'll hide it, yeah. So sometimes if you pull back the, the cushions and the couch or certain chairs, you'll find, like, his dream bone jammed in there for later <laughs> in case of emergency. 
his bugging out. I hear his bugging out phone. <laughs> I'm bugging out. Get the emergency phone. <laughs> All right. Somebody may find a new friend. They might get a new pet. A dog is a symbol for me for a best friend. Yeah, it could be a human. Mm-hmm. Too. My dog is very thankful for his life. Yeah, his second chance at life. Uh, and he went. He went a good time, a good long time, you guys, where we didn't even hear him bark. No, quiet as a mouse. Cower, cower whenever, whenever a man would come by him. Now he, now he likes anybody. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people just need the right environment to be around to flourish. Yeah. We may have an empath who's had a lot of abuse. Mm-hmm. Finally get to be with their soul family. How exciting. <laughs> Somebody may go to a dog park. Somebody may go out somewhere outside in nature with a new friend. They may find out, hey, I really like this person. Mm -hmm. They have interesting stories. They may be from someplace, yeah, you're not from. Ooh. My dog's looking at me, whining. What's up, dude? You ready to eat? Huh? How are you feeling? How are you feeling, Jasper? Look at that handsome fella. Oh my God. I'm so lucky. He's a big banana too, darlings. Of course. The street dog. Hello, dude. You're handsome. 